Thanks for joining us in Bloomberg Quint and with me, Rostav Ravanan, CEO at Mindtree. Thank you, sir, for taking your time speaking to Bloomberg Quint. Thank you. Happy to be here. Uh, my first question to you is, will you agree that uh, you are disappointed Q1 given that you missed both on uh, margins and diamonds? I'm not sure if I would call it disappointed. Uh, personally, I think there's a lot of satisfaction in our results for this quarter. Uh, if you look at our deal wins for this quarter, uh, very strong deal wins at 260 plus million and very strong deal wins in digital, which is a priority for Mindtree at more than 100 million, lifetime high uh, in terms of digital deals uh, in this quarter. Uh, overall, I think the organic Mindtree business grew 4.1%, which I think again will probably be amongst the best in the industry. Uh, just that challenges in the two acquired entities, Bluefin and Magnet, um, led to you know, revenue reduction in those entities and led to a 2.3% you know, revenue growth at the Mindtree level. Uh, but nonetheless, I think it's you know in line with the rest of the industry. So I wouldn't call it disappointing. Uh, actually, I would call it fairly exciting on the revenue growth front. On the margin performance, Largely the factors were outside our control. If you see the two main reasons why margins were impacted in this quarter, 0.9% impact because of currency appreciation and 170 basis points or 1.7% uh, because of the seasonality issue of the visa fees that we paid in this quarter uh, for the US visas. Um, so the margin performance was more because of, I would say, either one-off issues or environmental issues. Uh, however, Historically, our margins were much better. We are conscious of it and we are putting in place measures to help us improve the profitability and get us back to the you know, historic levels as quickly as possible. Right. And do you think you will be able to maintain the growth outlook of double digits or you will revise it now? Uh, we announced yesterday that we are changing our revenue guidance for this year. Uh, historic, uh, when we announced results in Q1, we said our growth forecast for this year will be in low double digits. We have toned that down to say it will be in high single digits right now. Primarily because, like I pointed out, there was some volatility in the two acquired entities at Mindtree. Uh, that's what led to the revenue uh, estimate change. Right. And what about the core uh, margin? So the core business margin also contracted. So do you see any recovery in the long term? The main reasons for decline in the margins uh, in the organic business was the visa impact and the currency impact. Uh, if you look at that from where we are in Q1, Q2 has some positives and some negatives. The main positive is obviously the uh, visa costs are non-recurring, so you'll get the benefit of that back. Uh, but Q2 will see the uh, impact of the wage revision for our people. Approximately 70% of mine three mines would get their salary increase effective 1st July, so that impact will be there. Uh, and we will also see the uh, uh, impact of the uh, buyback related expenses that you'll have to book in this quarter uh, there. So we'll probably have some positives, some negatives. Let's see how the margin picture shapes up for uh, Q2. Too. Right, right. And what about uh, the growth across top clients spending? Um, our top clients are getting reconstituted. If you see the top clients we have today, uh, the list is different from the top clients we had a year ago. Uh, some of our large clients declined uh, due to business pressures in their own industries, but other clients grew. Um, so our largest client continues to grow uh, and the rest of the top 10 I think will continue to see growth there uh, but it's a new top 10 so when you do year over year comparisons uh, it will obviously not make sense because of the change in the composition uh, but overall the new top 10 clients are you know looking good uh, our efforts to mine them and to grow the relationships are progressing well um, so we think maybe short term there will be stability and medium term there will be growth in our large customers. And what are the key verticals we will see a stark improvement in the next quarter? Uh, as compared to the present one? Uh, I think there will be reasonably broad based growth across all the four quarters. The technology, media, services vertical, I think it will probably be uh, amongst the best. Uh, financial services, uh, um, uh, retail CPG manufacturing, and travel all should do well. Right. Thank you so much for speaking to me. Thank you.